bad news for us. Uh, the good news is, after watching the tape of the game, I was really pleased with the way Wayne Blackshear played at the fourth spot. Um, he has a much, much easier time going by power forwards off the bounce, and just all around gets more production playing that spot because we play, we play on the perimeter mostly with, with Wayne playing that spot. And he takes big, bigger people away from the basket. We have another shooter on the floor, so it really looked good. Uh, the game was much better after watching it. I was frustrated at times with that game, and when I watched it, it was just the frustration just stemmed from Russ trying to be, trying to do things <coughs> like ridiculous, not Russ ridiculous, ridiculous. But he also played a great game. You know, take away his two behind the back um, teardrop air ball and the other turnover, he played a great game. He really did play one of his better games because he really got after it defensively, bothered people, and uh, the, I was very surprised when I watched that game how much better it really was. The bad news is we got Wayne with a, um, with a concussion, and it happened yesterday in practice, so he's out. If there was ever a shining light of, of having eight days off, it's this situation, so we got very lucky there. But I'm very concerned about this game because they beat the heck out of Connecticut uh, at home, and uh, Connecticut came back, but they still won the game. They're a physically talented team that on any given night, if they're making shots, they can, they can be very difficult to handle. So we've, we've got to somehow get other people to step up in this game. I, I really don't know who that's going to be. I'm not sure who's going to start or not start. This just happened all of a sudden. Rick, do you kind of go back to the old way? You know, because you, you would like Wade in that four spot and, and going small. Do you kind of have to go back to the old way with, you know, playing that true five spot? And yeah, we have no choice. We don't have another. The problem is, you know, if if Montrez gets in foul trouble, we're real, we really have major problems in this basketball game. If Luke gets in foul trouble, we have major problems in this game. So they're a very tall physical team, so we've got to be... I'm not sure how we're going to attack them yet because we're going to try some different things in practice and so we'll see what happens. What happened to him? He got uh, a coy with being trapped in the corner and a coy's, I think, elbow hit his head. So do you have any idea yet of which five men you would like to rely on a little bit more? I would, if I had a guess, I would say Stephen Bantrese. He's more reliable, more experienced. Is, is Mango at this point, I mean, he only played two minutes on Saturday, is that? Well, it's just a matter of, you know, I've, Stephen Van Treese is ahead of him. It's not that I, one's a freshman, one's a senior. Is it, a, I mean, it, with Mango, though, I know it's a frustrating, you've been frustrated with him all year and trying to work with him. At what point does it become kind of a... I'm not really frustrated with him. I just, there are certain freshmen like Terry Rogier you can count on. But he's had an extra year of basketball, and he's been an inner city kid who's grown up with a ball in his hands. Another is, a, you know, somebody from another land who hasn't played a whole lot of basketball. And so I'm not really frustrated. It's just it is what it is with him. He needs time and experience. He's, we've been unable to get any weight on him. So it's, it's just it's just a freshman man who's physically a little weak right now. You, you do have eight days after. Well, is that kind of a day to day thing, like normal concussions? I, I think Wayne's going to be fine. I don't think this is a serious concussion. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to have him travel because it takes a lot right. of. Yeah, I, I think he'll be fine in a couple of days.